at what point did you guys realize you had to watch this movie this weekend? That's what uh, I want to know. See, I had the wedding, so I watched it on Thursday night. Ah, okay. Yeah, I prepared. I, was I watched it prepared. last Sunday. Oh, she wow. came to work Sunday? and was like, when are we doing the thing? And I was like, no, there's hell of people gone. Oh, I still right. haven't watched last it. Week. That's right. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> I, I, you know, it's, it's, I make dinner Sunday nights, and then we watch whatever in review we got to do, and that's, oh, that's what nice. the next one was. That's smart. So I knew it was coming. I totally forgot. Yeah. Welcome <laughs> back to Kind of Funny <laughs> Spider-Man in Review. I'm Tim Geddes. This is Andy Cortez, hey. Kevin Coelho, Greg so, Miller, back hi. from London. That's it. it for, Scott, if, you're, you know. if you only watch the show, you have no you idea that know. I was even you gone. Even you know, know you were there. Yeah. I'm very glad you didn't come back with one of those bullshit accents like Andy came back with. What are you talking about, Mike? No, oh, yeah. Um, oh, I got What you want to buy, isn't it? This yeah. show comes out every Rahul Thursday Cole? at 9 a.m. on YouTube.com slash Kinda Funny or on any podcast service you like. You just got to search for Kinda Funny Reviews. Today, we are reviewing... The Amazing Spider-Man 2, released on May 2nd, 2014, directed once again by Mark Webb, the Mark <laughs> Webb duology. Mm, uh, a lot of people call it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, the budget of $293 million, a box office of $709 million, less than Amazing Spider-Man 1's $757.9 million, but record-breaking nonetheless <gasps> in the sense of like Thursday openings and this bullshit and this really sure. specific thing. Uh, Runtime of two hours and 22 minutes. Oh, fuck. Eight, it was so long. Eight minutes shorter than Amazing Spider Man 1. Oh, Shut man, the fuck up. No way. I would have never guessed. I would have never guessed. Dude, it's I true. thought this movie was like 48 minutes longer than the first one. This eight was a less? slodge. Eight it was a slodge? Plus. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a word? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you, you talked about like at what point you realized you had to watch it. For me, it was it, this is a first. This is the first this has ever happened in all of our reviews, whether it be MCU, X Men, Spider Man. <laughs> yeah. 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 Them, you got them all. Where, yeah, we were talking about, yeah, I was getting ready to make food yesterday, mm -hmm. right? And we had Lucy over, for, uh, Lucy James. And so she was uh, going to watch it. And she's like, oh, I'm so excited to see this movie. And Jen's like, oh, I don't, I've never seen either. And Lucy's like, I'm excited. I'm like, well, uh, don't get ahead of yourself. Like, I know this is the one people hate. People yeah. hate this one. Yeah. And this is, I'll tell you right now, I know you won't because you're a coward. But if you, YouTube people, wanted to, I want you to know what this episode's called. <laughs> no one can make himself laugh more than you. No. It's the true. Amazing Spider Man 2 in review. Colin. Yeah. Hard. <laughs> Get, what? It Get it out. <laughs> hard truths. Hard okay. truths. Okay. Hard okay. truths. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get. Oh, you'll see. I, dude, There's oh, gonna man. be a lot of controversial Call statements said today. All right, but I was like, this is the one everybody hates. So you know, wait for you know, don't get ahead of yourself, right? So we started watching it, and yeah, 45 minutes, maybe an hour in. Jen's like, all right, and I'm going to bed. I've had enough of this. So I'm like, yeah. all right, see you later. Lucy made it a bit longer, and then she's like, I'm out too, and I'm like, well, I'm gonna keep going. You got it. Jump cut, you. jump. Of course, I have to. I'm gonna keep going now. <laughs> <laughs> About the time, uh, yeah, Harry starts talking to Electro. Right? Let's jump to 12:30, where I'm on the couch. <laughs> And I just, <laughs> just wake back up. I totally fell asleep in the middle of this movie. Yeah, I just got there. I'm like, what the fuck happened? I had to uh, watch it at lunch today when right we were getting ready to do it. Yeah, yeah. This movie. I, I never feels, finished watching this God. movie. Like, uh, I had never seen. <laughs> no, no, no. no, no I saw it in the like, past. I had never seen all of it. Yeah. This was a movie that when it was on HBO at my parents' place back home, I watched some parts to where the. To, when this movie was going on, I was like, when does Rhino pop up? We're already like an hour and fifty minutes in. Where is that scene? Yeah. But it's at, you know it's at the end. Is that the end? What's that? Yeah. The first yeah. scene. Well, yeah. with like the actual you know. Rhino but that was one of the first suit. scenes released from the movie, like publicly. The rhino. The rhino. Scene? Yeah. The end scene. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I just uh -huh. I don't remember anything. Yeah. One of the it most popular good. videos on IGN of all time. Wow. Right to this date, it's true. It's very true. It was, yeah. This, what's no one? one's seen this full movie because I feel like there's just ten different movies that all kind of happen at once. It's so <laughs> it it's just doesn't it's weird up. because there are uh, like three major plots happening in this movie, right? There's his relationship with Gwen. She's going off to college. They may or may not be breaking up. He's haunted by the dad's ghost. That's the West one. Then you've got the what which should be the main villain, which is Electro. Not really. And then you've got not really. <laughs> and you've got actually four. You've got his relationship with Dane DeHaan. Dane mm -hmm. DeHaan taking over Oscorp. Oz, mm -hmm. Norman Osborn dying. And then you've also got. Uh, Oh God! Well, there's a fourth in there. So, oh, the the parents. He's, oh yeah. He's oh yeah, right. Trying to what figure out what the hell's going on. What's happening? Not. We need there's off so much happening it's, in this movie that did not. Hey, this need was to be. Oh, you. Oh. Oh. 
what? Why? <laughs> 45 minutes in, Chun's like, why is it all dubstep? <laughs> like, what Dude, is this fucking the music? Like, true. The music choices in this movie were all were over the place. Hans Zimmer. Some of them were, I thought, really cool. Me I too. like the use of synth. I didn't love how many times they play Itsy Bitsy Spider in that synth, but. Once. Oh, no. It, yeah. It's like all throughout. I thought it was just once. That yeah. just and, once. No, no. The, it's, it, 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 it comes back. There's more of it every time, like. Trust me. By that point, I, I was like, how many is. fucking times are they going to do this? Um, well, then my Spider-Man makes a joke, I guess, because when it happens, the one time I recognized it when he's fighting Electro, he's like, I hate this song. Maybe he was with there you. Are, there are, the notes there are hints of it. Kevin in, Feige wanted more of it. We did it now. Get it. Because here's the thing. Let's just jump to some of the funny strikes. Uh, during Wait, the whole Kevin WikiLeaks Feige, thing mm-hmm. that happened here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. got, he's been involved in pretty much every superhero movie. But he just didn't try this. He just didn't try this. But then there was a lot of the deals on the production side. He learned. He was a producer. right? my producer Or a friend of the producer's. Um, the WikiLeaks situation with Sony a couple That's years ago. That's right. That was the big... The Sony hack for the yeah. emails. Um, one of the emails that leaked out was Kevin's notes on this movie and what they should fix and change. I'm going to read you a couple of them. Please do. Uh, there are too many storylines, and we need to choose which ones we're focusing on and lift out the other ones. Let's just reduce the father arc to just Roosevelt being written down and him finding the train station. Cut out the plane crash and Richard destroying spiders and start an armored cor- car. Don't start with Spider-Man. Let the danger and stakes to New York build first and then have Spider-Man enter the scene heroically. This is cool. I like this. Seems like the movie switches point of views a lot. Why are we in Max's point of view during the car chase? It's worth looking at this playing out from Spidey's point of view. Tidy note, don't think Peter would lie to Gwen about the sirens. Maybe he should just downplay it. Instead of seeing the ghost of Captain Stacy, can we just hear the voice in Peter's head? <laughs> Maybe flashback to the last movie? I don't think we need to see him. <laughs> Yeah, we literally see him a lot. Don't like the idea that May tells Peter his parents were spies because two seconds later he finds out they're not, and again, it fights with the idea that he's just an ordinary kid. <laughs> Maybe intercut the ending montage and hearing Gwen's speech with something going on in, or someone going into special projects and revealing more Easter eggs and see that the rhino case has been broken into and the suit's missing. It'd be a great way to transition into the ending. Don't show New Yorkers looting. <laughs> was one of the notes. Oh, that must have got cut out, right? The loot? Yeah. No, no, it's, it's in there. Oh, there's yeah, looting yeah, during the scene where like everything's going to hell at the very end, and uh, the when plane the almost crashes. I will say this: New Yorker is a lot more brazenly bold than San Franciscans. If there was a giant fucking enormous Why rhinoceros running everywhere? down uh, Market Street, I would I'm not out. be like, "Well, I got to watch this, this border a little closer. I got to get closer to this." Fuck my kids that here. Kid, the moment that kid went, though, I'd be like, "I'm staying." Oh my god! Oh yeah, you guys. I gotta see that. Oh, actually, you can Google uh, the the Kevin Feige uh, stuff. There's a lot more. I would love that's for that's Mark. Pretty good notes. Mark Webb's really reply, just like "fuck you, you make one, bitch." Exactly. Yeah, I'll do what I want. I think I got a good idea on how to do this. You goon. Yeah, there was this this movie feels like about 15 people made it. So the thing there is, it wasn't 15 people making it. It was Mark Webb working with Sony, but Sony being like, look, we need to make this a uh, cinematic Giant universe franchise, now. yeah. And they were trying to compete at this point with Captain America Winter Soldier. Oh, that's brutal. So, exactly. So they were really at this movie. point where they like, should have had some running. So they announced a whole bunch of movies. There was the Ant May spinoff movie. There was supposed that, to be Sinister Six at a certain and point. And Ant right? May Sinister, yeah. Sinister Six was, was what they were the, the direct yeah. sequel, right? And yeah, no, it was gonna, there was going to be Amazing Spider Man three, then Sinister Six, then Amazing Spider Man. The one that introduces MJ. Those were all announced. Uh, well, MJ was, MJ was to be, cut out of this, this movie. <laughs> we're just getting a lot of the Easter eggs here. Fucking do it, um, Andy! Shirt off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Andy, shirt and pants off. No, keep your members only jacket on. Though. Um, <laughs> by October tenth, two thousand twelve, Shailene Woodley was in talks for the role of uh, Mary Jane she Watson. Been good. By Wait, March fourteenth, she, she's from uh, the Pretty Descendants. Little Lies. Uh, you've seen. Sorry, her. Big Little Lies. Oh, okay, in, who is the, she in the, Big Little Lies? The, 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 the one, the main character. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Woodley had concluded filming her small role by March 14th, 2013. Garfield recalled, I think all of those scenes were in our backyards. We had two or three scenes with me talking over our fence, and there was one with us riding together on a motorcycle that we never got to shoot. By mid-June, Mary Jane was straight up cut from the film, with director Webb explaining it as a creative decision to streamline the story and focus on Peter and Gwen and the relationship. (laughs) Thank fucking the, God. Thank God. The, Could the have best also thing, cut out Dane DeHaan's character. Just, they oh, they really should have. Fucking completely out. Really, you know what? In, in the, in the, the Raimi films, they never gave Peter and Harry's relationship justice. And at least they did that here. You yeah. know sure I mean? did. You know, hey, man. It's been like eight years, ten years, whatever, man. Whatever, man. Hey, you were there for hey, me. I would have loved to have seen man, that, but hug. it was fucking weird. I thought his performance was... I, I like him as an actor. I thought he was like not good in this at all. And he go, He just does the... Right. He goes from normal, what's going on, I'm, I'm a kid whose dad doesn't love him, to psychopath within the span of like a week. Now, I get that he's dying, 
and there's, there's just, very quickly. Th- yeah. It's the thing yeah, is like very, there's very just quickly. so much going on in this movie, so much going on that I'm like, it, I, I swear to God, and I don't, I didn't count it, but there must have been like a 40 minute gap where you see Jamie Fox as Electro, so and then he comes back, and you're like, oh right. He's the yeah, main bad guy in this movie. Guy. And that's what he's kind of the sucks. big threat. And is, he does nothing. Is he, his storyline, the way they set him up is interesting. His character doesn't fit the movie at all because Amazing Spider Man 1, super serious tone, pretty much straight way, all the way through. Amazing Spider Man 2 still he's, has that, but then every once in a while there's characters that are straight up comic book characters. Well, he is mm-hmm. Jim Carrey's Riddler from yep. absolutely fucking Batman Forever. Yep. 100%. And, and he's just fucking here. And it's like, that doesn't me. make sense. And then later we see the, the scientist dude. Like the mad scientist, the like, what was going it's on? Doc Ock, Doc Ock. Not really. <laughs> and it's like, why? But what's sad is this movie gets some stuff. There are some really cool elements in this, right? This movie gets, it, I feel like it's out of all these movies, the most extreme of it gets the most right and the most wrong mm. of any yeah. of these Spider Man movies. Like, I was telling, we were talking over lunch. I'm like, I really, really like the suit in this movie. I love yep. the big eyes. Yeah, it's awesome. I'm like, this is cool. All Best the suit we've seen so far. I love totally. a lot of the action sequences. A lot of the action sequences I love. So, but then True. for every one that I love, there's one where you're like, what are you saying back and forth to each other? To say, and why did you cast Paul G. fucking Marty as this Russian gangster guy? Yeah, another character <laughs> Not his best performance at all. But, but I like, love the writer was in it. The thing that I like about this movie is that when they are just the small, more subtle things, like ironically saying the sentence, the rhino, um, I, it feels like watching a Spider-Man cartoon. Yes. Like it feels like there's a universe here. The rhino is just this fucking idiot. Like, it, I, I love the beginning scene. There's a lot of weird things that happen when he gets his pants pulled down. He has rhino boxers. That things much, like that are fun. That I don't mind. It's it's the, it's the hey, we're going to say quips, but you're not really, they're going to go by so fast that they're just throwaway lines, but they shouldn't be throwaway lines because they're funny quips, but we're not delivering them properly because you could totally tell we ADR'd it afterward because we couldn't figure out what to put in the scene and like, we don't know what's gone. Hey, spider. And he like points the gun at him and Spider-Man kind of moves out of the way mm-hmm. and then it just cuts. <laughs> You know, it's like, you're like, what the fuck? What's I, going th- on with this all of you? This movie is like weird, heartbreaking yeah. because I just love Andrew Garfield so much as Peter and I love uh, uh, Emma, Stone. Uh, Emma, Stone. Emma Stone as Gwen. And I, it just breaks my heart that we got this as the result. There, you know? I mean, that's, again, another great thing in this movie, though, is their chemistry is fucking, the fucking great. Charts. That scene... Which is completely obnoxiously unnecessary. Where they, where they, he, they hide out in the fucking closet. utility closet. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's so hot, it's and adorable. he like kisses her, and it's like you're like, dude, just fucking figure your shit out. Figure Very teen angsty, except that they're both thirty four oh, years old. Oh, they said finger her. <laughs> what? Finger her Jesus, Sandy. <laughs> finger, finger it out, it out dude. <laughs> finger it out. <laughs> Wait, you think Spider they both look like old? He looks old as fuck in this movie. Really? Yeah. He oh, looks, I didn't. I didn't think that. Oh, I thought he looked much older in this movie than he did. He definitely does. I mean, he's in his thirties when he did this movie, so. And he, really? that he's just graduating uh, high school is absurd. Is weird, yeah. And why do these people have these amazing jobs? Why does she work at Oscorp? This is confusing. She, <laughs> she was in charge of the interns she's before. Smart yeah. kid. They were like, sorry that your fucking mentor at Oscorp almost killed you. I guess we'll keep you around and give you a full-time position. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. um, I also go out and say as a, as a notable cool thing, I really, really liked... I like the design of Electro. I like when they're fighting. I like the fact that he can just materialize. It's creepy as shit and that was terrifying. A great scene. Uh, the fact that he is actually a menacing bad guy when they fight, and you're like, there's no fucking way Spider Man's gonna be able to beat this guy because he's like zooming around and like knocking Spider Man in and all the slow mo stuff. I'm like, this, a lot of this really works. It's just, I'm so fucking tired right now that I wanted this to happen an hour earlier yeah. and I don't want Dane DeHaan to show up with weird with a Definitely bad not. mouthpiece in. Yeah. What and about weird, when BJ Novak too? shows up? How did you feel about that? That was weird. Although I knew I was like I was happy because I knew Andy was gonna love that because isn't he in the office? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, uh, every fight scene in this movie I thought was fucking awesome. They like, had a lot I of think it. that it, it, everything that we've liked about the other movies fight scenes this one delivers on the fight scene with Electro. An, an issue I have is the CG's pretty video game looking. Throughout this entire movie, anytime oh, Spider Man's moving, yeah. it's very video game. But I'm not against that when it when you have it a didn't consistent, bother me as much. Like it's consistent. Yeah, the, it never looks live action versus CG. It's like okay, it's CG. You're going with this uh, uh, idea. <laughs> I think there's literally a moment where he grabs, he like he he uh, webs a, a fire hydrant and then spins it around. And I was like, well, am I playing the game right now? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. the rhino it. scene with the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's fucking rad. But the whole fight scene with Electro when they're swinging through the power plant, I'm like, this is. Amazing! Like I remember seeing it in theaters and just being like, "Wow, I we're finally really getting cool. a fucking Spider-Man fight scene that fully feels not just hints of feeling like a Spider-Man fight." Yeah, love that. I agree. Uh, to touch back with what you were saying about the making it feel like the cartoon when we meet uh, B.J. Novak's character, which is Scythe, right? Mm-hmm. Smythe. 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 That was very much a like, "Oh shit, he's like Smythe. part of the." 
Smite. With the spider slayers. Yeah. But well, like isn't it Smythe? I thought he I thought he miscalled. I thought, I thought Jamie Foxx said Smite and then apologized and called him Smythe. Alistair, they animated Alistair Smite isn't is the name of the character, right? Smythe. Huh. Right? Well, I don't think so. Have and he gave me a check on who oh, Smythe is in his spider uh, slayers. Is well, it Smythe? Or is it Smythe? From Let's the... all look it up on IMDB. I almost had it. Alistair, is it Smythe? Alistair is it Smith, Smith, academic lecturer? What? No. It's BJ Bell. <laughs> you fucking asshole. I hate you so much. I hate you, you so much. Oh, God, I hate Randy. But anyway, what's your point, Kev? <laughs> oh, it just, it very much felt like so much was going on in that world in a good way. Like, and got me excited to like, oh, well, they might do something with that. And then, I don't know. Like Aunt May, why, why is she a nurse? Why do we care if she can't pay for college? Because we're what giving her some on? motivation. That's so why. here's the thing. It's like you can clearly see the story. Like this movie is such a weird movie. bottleneck where this was totally the prequel to what could have been four different movies, right? The, sure. The Spider-Man and Gwen Stacy relationship and all that, and, or eventually Mary Jane, that would have been amazing. Spider-Man 3 and 4 with Harry Osborn shit. Sinister Six is everything that we saw in the last half of this movie. Aunt May would have been all the family drama and going back with... The Peter's dad and mom mm -hmm. and shit. Yeah. What do you Alist got for me? Alistair Smythe. Smythe. Nailed it. Okay. 90s yeah. animated kept me grounded. <laughs> That's the thing. Hard <laughs> truth number one, right? Let's go. Is that this Hold movie. On. Hold on. Do we need, is this I a think podcast we might a podcast? need a theme song, Andy, what? for the hard Greg truth. Miller's Hard Truth. <laughs> Greg Miller's got the hard truths. Greg Miller's got the hard truths. You want some facts? He is back. <laughs> With the hard <laughs> truths. Just keep going. You're not loving it. This isn't a bad movie. Uh, mm. It's 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 it, the problem is it doesn't make sense with Spider-Man, the Amazing Spider-Man, the first one, right? In terms of like, are these even the same characters and world? Is it the same world? I guess is a bigger problem. Mm. It's a great, it's a very long, but it's a great cartoon. It's a great episode of Spider-Man. Of I like, agree. I will say, a little far. <laughs> yeah, no, I will far. But I, I will agree. I mean, but if it was a cartoon, we wouldn't care about. I thought how it was over dramatic and bad. how weird BJ. No, I'm not. Again, I'm not coming out and being like. This is a fucking movie. Everyone, I I I saw this so late. On I saw this on a plane. No, okay, let me dial this. I'm sorry. I'm all over the place. I just came out of VR. Everybody, I was in a different world. <laughs> uh, I saw Amazing Spider-Man two originally on a plane after everyone had dragged this thing out into the streets and beat it to death. And I remember watching. Not like, everyone. Who? You got two two Amazing Spider-Man two's biggest fans at this table right now. They Andy lost and Nick? this though. They lost this. No. Uh, it was me. But oh, I, when really? I watched it, I was uh, like, I oh, like, okay. This, I mean, again, it was like, I'm not in love with this movie, but like what you're talking about, the action's great. Yeah, Jamie Foxx is a crazy ass villain. Harry's crazy, but it's just yeah. like, it goes so over the top comic book cartoon that you're just like, See, that's a weird max mi mm -hmm. uh, mishmash for a live action film. I agree. See, I think there is a really good hour, like hour and like maybe two hour long movie in here. Mm -hmm. But it's a two hour and 18 like there's a great movie Way too much going on There's a really good movie and a really shitty half a movie yeah. in this yeah, you know And like I wish they just would trim down the shitty half and streamline this because at a certain point I don't care how great a superhero movie is after like two hours. You're like I just need I love spider-man I don't want this much spider-man like let's just stop. Let's just go. Let's get to the end, you know Or give me more spider-man and less fucking villains less there's so more. many villains in this movie. Yeah, so many fucking so villains. many we thought there was a problem with spider-man 3 this has like Hints of about 15. Oh, God. <laughs> well, thank God they brought back fucking I got a hat the man. Gentleman. Yeah, I got a yeah. hat and I can come in jail cells as I see. The guy that Does works he teleport? with Oscorp with the 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 one who's like kind of running Second after command, Yeah, guy. like the board of directors guy. The one we'll who's running him. after Gwen though. In it like when Oh, he that sees her. dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does he not look like um Empire. Terminator? No, the like he's a got a really weird jaw structure and stuff, right? <laughs> no, he looks like uh, uh, Sasha Baron Cohen when he was undercover yes. doing that show. Sure, yeah, on bit. Showtime, I can see that. Yeah. Ollie, right? Dolly G he had a very uh, defined cheekbones. Yeah, it was weird, dude. Beautiful. Do you think oh, it was Sasha? You, right do you think it was Sasha Baron Cohen? No, I don't think so. Is it Sasha? <laughs> I don't know. It's Sasha with Scarface. It, it, it was definitely not Sasha Baron Corbin in that row. <laughs> let's, oh my God, guys. That 100%. Let's use this episode of interview to launch 17 more threads and more shows. This God will be our damn. prequel for all them things. Oh, God. But thank God for Sally Field. You know what I mean? <laughs> Good episode. Let's just talk about that. Let's talk about how she was like so. Like I like you as an actress. Like I'm trying. I understand they're guy? trying to give Aunt May more to do, but like no, oh. just stop. Just stop. Not to mention, 
It's we last la, I believe last episode ended with the Amazing Spider-Man where we were all like, no, she clearly knows he's Spider-Man, kind of yelling at yeah. Kevin. And then I guess, and that's all like wiped yeah. off the table. I thought here. also, like, also, why is your face so dirty? It's very clear they were not playing hide and go seek right before. Yeah, yep. the yeah. dad was so doing a bunch of work. You guys are both Recon's calling me wrong. Last movie. <laughs> it's like, all right, you stupid fuck. So he was hide and seek with his imaginary friend, I guess. Is that where he to, was recording be, a video? No, 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 no. But little Peter. Little oh, Peter. So. Little Peter did go. Well, it's it's, it's possible it was like Peter <laughs> go play and go seek, but counts to three thousand. <laughs> I'm gonna go downstairs and do some work real quick. I That's gotta go a make a video. Which, by the way, I again a small pet peeve of mine. But I was like, why does the video have digital distortion in it? It's not a it, small pet peeve. It doesn't make dumb. any sense at all. Why is there a fucking no, train hey, station guys. that like tra- is a transformer? I yeah. don't. I have no idea. That that was my biggest problem. Like, why is there this train station where you put a coin in and this fucking thing comes comes out of nowhere? And it's like, who built that for him? Why, why would he, he have this? Why did we need to see a Paul Feig spy, uh, Melissa McCarthy, Rose Byrne fighting in a plane at the very beginning of this movie? Like, what was that oh, action dude, sequence? It was fucking with the dad. Horrible. You think that was excellent? What a terrible assassin that guy. Was. <laughs> that guy was bad. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, I am clearly just going to kill all of you right now and then jump out of this plane. But before we do that, let's talk for a little. Yeah. Let's have some time. <laughs> a little chitty chat. I'm going to yeah, wash my hands first. I'm not but saying I didn't like that. I'm just saying that's pilot? something that doesn't pilot. necessarily need to be in the movie. Like, if I were editing that film, I'd be like, we don't need to see this. It does not matter at all that he uploaded this. I totally buy that that Peter would walk into the subway train and all the data would be there. You know why? Because it's a secret fucking lab. Why would you not have all of the data in the secret lab? You know? Mm. Like he uploaded it to the server and then that's not even a thing he has to figure out. He just walks in and goes, do, 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 download complete. Yeah. I like, can't even right. stream Netflix on a plane. This motherfucker's sending off all this fucking jazz with yeah, spiders. Dude. And, and then, like, venom. it gets interrupted like 10 times, but yeah, then yeah. he's going, no. That's a good VPN. Yeah. It's just, it's this is just similar to our sponsor. I feel like this movie could have been so good, but there's two main things that really hold it back, and it's just, it's the timing of its release where it, they felt the need to build a universe, and yeah. they tried to Justice League it, and like shoehorn that into something that, that did not, was not ready for that type of growth. And then the other side of it is because the Sam Raimi trilogy was so close to this, they had to do things differently just to differentiate. Mm-hmm. And I feel like them adding all of the Peter's parents storylines was just to be like, it was. hey, we're, we're a little bit different. And it's like, man, it, it does suck because it totally is not special when Spider-Man was destiny. You know, yeah, like that takes away everything that makes Peter Parker and Spider-Man work. I, I like that only because like it's just as a, as a reverse argument here. I like that he's the only person that can be Spider-Man because of his DNA. That actually, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool that no one else could. Because I was wondering, like, no one else got bit by one of these fucking spiders? Like, no one else got, this never happened? Like, this, this, you know, it always just seems so haphazard. Like, they would see this guy and be like, oh, we have these spiders. Like, why not? Everyone gets bit by the spider. Now we have a spider fucking army. Yeah. So I kind of like the explain Yeah, I didn't mind them bit. tweaking that part of it. I mean, I, it's not my favorite thing, but I just I still think Peter's just a normal dude. His dad just was using his fucking blood. You know what I mean? I also think it would be a dad. really fun his exercise. Dad a fucking subway That's train fair. transformer. I, I do think it would be an interesting exercise as an editor to go in and clip out like an hour out of this movie and yeah, see if make it's a better it film. take out a story. Like take out all the, take out all the parent stuff, take out all the anime an- an- stuff, take out some of the Dane DeHaan stuff. Cool, great. Yeah, we got, just, a, just, we got a weekend stuff. project for you. See if you get, if you could get this down to like <laughs> cool, an, great, get it. a solid hour 45, I think this would actually be a really There's really like, good Spider-Man movie. Mm, cool Greg's like inserting doodles <laughs> on paper and like crafting out his own scenes. It just cuts and like every other scene is graffiti and you're like, "Okay, well that's a good <laughs> it's an interesting choice." Interesting choice. Just he's like, "I put some of my own footage in there." <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, man. There, there was a lot in this, and I, we're kind of jumping around. I don't know, like, do we want to do the plot? Because we're kind of just jumping, jumping through it all. <laughs> do you have any highlights for me? There's a, a plane crash in the beginning. Yeah, that yeah. happens. Yeah, you're like, yeah, he's got a bloody hand. All right, cool. Then, yeah, guess what? Peter's fighting the rhino, and he's doing the thing where, yeah, he's lying to uh, Gwen. That no, I'm not that against it because it's a fib. It was silly. It's a fib. She clearly could hear. I'm sirens. way more against Peter being the stalker Spider-Man or whatever. Well, yeah, you love that place with the meatballs or whatever. Way oh, later, yeah. and she's like, "How do you know? I follow you every day." I was watching this with two women. They're like, "Oh my god!" I'm like, "I know this is bad. Wait, this, this is isn't not, romantic. This isn't, yeah, this yeah. isn't how Peter would actually be. It's it just was, a weird it was to keep her safe and make sure no from one, who from <laughs> any other suitors. What is that kind of like? It's not even suitors. any other boyfriends that might come. There's no. Range. I understand. Like flap, flap, snap. Fucking if we had known about <laughs> if we had Goblin established earlier on, he's like, "I want to get it. I want to get her." Like, okay, cool. It's just like I'm worried yeah, about you. Like, when, when you break me, up with a with a significant other, you keep tab keep tabs. It's like yeah, modern yeah. day yeah. you keep tabs on Facebook. Facebook page. I don't see that. Back just, in the day, you would like oh, you would there. you would 
accidentally go by their work or things like that. Like I didn't. Yeah. That he didn't, follows her around New York every day. He well, loves he's her. saving people at the same time. Yeah, he's like, it was yeah, a fire, bro. They're just down there. He's Fine. just swinging by. Uh-huh. Look, if you're gonna, I don't fucking, think it's that weird. I think it's like, sure, don't follow her every hour of the day, but. Maybe for one hour for an ex-boyfriend that, like, to want to keep tabs on a girl morning, that he's you know? still very much in love with. Like, he only like broke up with her because he was promised like, the, the dad. Yeah. That he I mean, didn't yeah, he should never keep, made it. He should never done it. Stupid. Or he should have kept it he's like, from the beginning. Keep going out of this. I'd be like... Can't do that. Can't promise that. I'm in love with your daughter. Shut the fuck up. She's so cute. You're delirious. You've lost so much blood. You know what I mean? Just pinch the nose and hold the mouth. I think I think I think I could live through this. You're weird, Andy. Yeah, and then that happens, and then this whole fucking movie happens. This whole goddamn movie happens. There's so much this fucking movie. Yeah, exactly. And then he like saves a dude who's got a bunch of. Science equipment? Max. Yeah, maps. Oh, no, not maps. And oh. that dude happens to Max. just become a super big stalker. Yeah. And that's all it takes for one of these crazies, you know what I mean? I really like, I mean, I just, I would have loved if Electro was the only villain, because I love that. I, I love he was good. I, well, I love when I they meet again good. in Times Square, and he's like, that was a you good remember moment. me? I love yeah. that sort yeah. of that interaction. That scene is fucking yeah. awesome, except there is, for whatever reason, a, uh, a total, a, a set of bleachers behind them. Where the people are just standing sitting, there. Sitting there watching. Get the fuck away from this monster yeah. that is here. Like, if you saw that in real life, I'd be like, I love you. And then I would trip you and push you towards the ledge. I would just run yeah, away. I would just run away. Yeah, totally, totally. You, you, know? you could have both just walked away, I think. Just the bears coming at you? <sighs> well, this is electric. But also, a there's a dude who's like blue and shooting electricity. Very yeah, you would think you'd want to be mean? like not. Facing nah, him, bullshit. That, clapping the entire time. That's the I'll kind of like, shit you pull out your phone to. Yeah. We're gonna get pierogies with. Yeah, yeah fuck head. you, dude! <laughs> Why would you taunt him? Oh my god, I know they're assholes. <laughs> fuck that guy. Why would you taunt the villain who's clearly dangerous? Having said that, cool scene, and I like how, yes, he's very cartoony and he's very, very comic booky, but I like that he's like, I don't know what's going on, stay away from me, this is not my fault, it's very chaotic and confusing for me. Spider-Man tries to help, and then... It just it just spirals out of control because yeah. you wouldn't understand how to deal with this situation. You know, they lied for. to me. They shot at what me. Was that? What, that what was that? What was that? Yeah. 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 I can't. I'm mean, like. What was cool? The though. music. The even the beginning music. We were like, what is this theme? What's going? Cool? Way what too the, like. like hey, 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 Spider Man's awesome. Spider-Man. Oh god, it's bad. <laughs> music in this movie uh, altogether All is bad. just bad. I don't agree. Except for the synth stuff. Really, I think I think that it works. It made me miss the I soundtrack from the Raimi trilogy. Like, it was a great soundtrack. I think that was a better. Theme's good though. In, in this was like no th- that theme playing with electro felt like it was a musical, and like the, you'd picture this chorus singing behind him. And, yeah, that and made now no they're sense. all my enemy. Like what the f- that terrible oh, yeah, fucking like decision, bad, dude. That was bad, terrible, really, really bad. That and it was Hans Zimmer doing when he's that. like, "I'm really gonna solve my parents' murder this time." And that song kicks up. What was For it? you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we need more strings. We need more strings. We have a like last a, movie. Have it felt like a music video. Like, don't do this. It's what? bad. There was another cue like that somewhere in there, and I can't remember what it was, but it was another very popular song. I'm like, this is a bad choice. This is yeah, just I not think good. that's the thing. I, I I agree with Nick that I thought the music was bad in all over the place, and I feel like the reason I can say that is because it took me out of it so many times. Totally, like took what you the out fuck of it. is going on right now? And I feel like, like when music's great, when it all comes commercial? together, you're like what an epic, awesome moment. But yeah, from the beginning when they're putting this theme to it, and it's like what? Yeah, like no, you no, you're right. You're you're abs- you both are absolutely right. I'm I was I thought you were talking about the. Later fight scene of no like the power plant stuff. The power plant shit was dope, and I was like, "Why didn't we go with that synth theme yeah, the entire time?" Yeah, that was just there's a lot of weird choices musically. So yeah, Jamie Foxx is there now. He's he loves he loves Spider Man. <laughs> he, he fixed his hair. But I think again, I like that scene a lot. Exactly. I hated this, Jamie Fox, the Spidey though. stuff. I thought here, like for the most of the Spidey yeah. stuff, he's doing a great job. Like, when he, when he lands, guy. he's like, "All right, cool. I need you to keep an or what is he keep an eye on it for me or whatever." When he saves the or saves the kid, he stops the kid from getting beat up, and this is a wind turn this is cool. I'll walk you home. Like this is fucking Dude, awesome. He literally goes like what I like what you would hope you would be if you were Spider Man, right? Like you see this guy who you can tell right off the bat is, you know, a little bit of a shut in or whatever, and he's like, You're not nobody, you're Max. Like I can see you're right there. He's like, Oh, you don't mind like that's such a nice thing. Yeah. yeah. And that made that scene later so much more heartbreaking where he becomes a bad guy because yeah. you're like, No, it's just a miscommunity. Oh no. Like it sucks. you could have helped him. Focused on just, Electro, I feel like he could have been one of the greatest. Yeah, right. but I, and then I, they didn't. They right. were like, We no. oh fuck. Hey, we gotta hurry this up because we gotta get to Green Goblin again. Yeah, maybe it's because I don't know. I, I mean, it's just it sucks too because Jamie Foxx is such a fucking good actor. I know, and he goes from that nerdy character to that 
fucking ominous wraith, like, really well, I thought, but... 45 minutes later, I'm like, oh, right, he's still in this oh, movie. And yeah. they're drowning him for some reason, which is weird. <laughs> that kills his powers. Yeah, eels, man. Do? Don't for, yeah, I remember he dropped into a thing at Eels, and they all they bit, bit him. They bit him, yeah. And he was getting oh, electrocuted weird. and bitten was, in that. maybe don't piss gave, off the guy made of pure What are the weird Kevin notes that I don't necessarily agree with? He's like, I want the eel to go in his mouth and go inside him and then turn on. I want to see it light up inside his body. Oh, okay. Kevin, all right, that's well, weird. That's a yeah. terrible. Like, back off, Kevin. <laughs> Yeah. Weird. That's a little Mr. Weird. Feige, right? Let's just make exactly. that clear. Yeah, it's it's like it's not something I want. Not Kevin something Kevin I wanted. Want not <laughs> not something I wanted. Yeah. Then Norman Osborn's got this disease, but he's in a darker. It's very dark in there. And they walked in. Everyone who was watching with me was like, "That's very bright. It's very bright in there." Like, it's but they they cast Chris Cooper as Norman actor. Osborn, who's fucking great, and the scene is really good. And you're like, "Okay, all right." And then they he just dies. Uh, uh, no, he's, he's like, you're gonna die too, and then he just starts immediately dying. It's yeah, like, it's, it was like a curse. Tell me, is your hand him. already shaking? I've lived with this for like seven, 70 years. Is your hand shaking? It's all, it's downhill yeah, immediately. You're, you're immediately. gonna die. Like, that's maybe thing. he acted like he had been working on it for a long time. Oh, his yeah. nails look like scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah really. He, he was turning really. into the goblin. Oh, he was yeah. thinking, he got he the gobby gobs going on. Yeah, well, I mean, isn't he alive at the in that deleted Easter egg? No, 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 no. Spider Man's dad's alive. In the Easter. Oh, his the, head? Where his head's floating? What? You Norm's, didn't read about this? Yeah, Norm, there's a oh. little thing of Norm being alive because he's the Green Goblin. They his had his head floating somewhere? They had his head, like, preserved in a little, like, He was going to be the villain in Amazing 3. Nice. <laughs> what What was you know, ben, ben Parker's alive, too? Yeah. That's a different thing. Yeah, Lay at, at the, at the uh, there's a deleted scene where... Um, Campbell Scott? Uh, no. Ben Parker. Not Peter, ben Parker, Peter's, Richard Parker. Yeah, Richard Parker. Is at the cemetery. Like so Peter goes to visit something and he's just there and, and like they have a brief it's talk. Like a big boss moment. Yeah. Nice. That's what I was just thinking. Yeah. But uh, that'd be cool. Cool. How do you survive the plane? Three arc. I don't know. Does I mean, like, it doesn't make any sense. Wait, maybe it's his ghost. Well, he wasn't shot, so oh, like Captain Space Stacy's juice. Ghost juice. Ghost juice. Do you think wait, so like Dennis Leary came back just to just Just to stand there and <laughs> Look mad. That was that. That was like a half a day shoot at Max. They were like, "You good, Dennis?" He's like, "I don't know." Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Dude, he nails the like looking at you mad look, look though. It just so. no. I mean, I get it. It's just so that keeps happening. The ghosts keep popping up. Uh, yeah. There's after graduation, graduation, there's a graduation scene. Stan Lee's there, and it's fine. A little on the nose from my taste with yeah. with the Spider Man. I know that guy. guy. Um, Gwen Stacy gives the speech. Then immediately, it's like, okay, Gwen Stacy's gonna die. Yeah, she's But die. I will say, the first time I watched this movie, it's like they build up that she's gonna die. We later see her on the bridge, and you're like, oh, oh shit, it's gonna. Mm -hmm. Oh, it doesn't happen. I'm like, oh, they're yep. bait and switching us. I thought they did a good job with, with even her. I would have agreed with you, that. except that all the TV spots for this thing showed her falling in the clock uh, tower. So even when we got to the bridge, mm. which I thought was a beautiful scene, yeah. of yeah. the whole, like, he, uh, the guy's driving, he's like, oh, it's Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> but stop the cab. And then she's like, is it not even driving. Yeah. And that was funny. And she gets out, and because Emma oh, Stone's funny. great or whatever, and then he goes out. And again, here's where, again, and again, Andy does not speak for anybody at this table. He's a creep all it's by himself. Monster. Here's where Peter does the right thing of being like, oh, cool, like, you're, I'll come with you to the UK. We'll live there and be great and blah, and sweet little moment up there. They but got yeah. crime there, right? The, like, I remember even watching, I mean, I knew she was going to die, obviously, but like, based on the fact I watched it late, but like watching, like, I know she's going to die in this clock tower. I remember the fucking trailers. Well, no, but sorry, I mean, even mm. her falling, I didn't know that, like, they could have not killed her. Yeah. Like, I, Wait, I totally you call think me that they set it up in a way this to, whole like, thing, you really think you're like, it's okay for ex-boyfriends no, to I'm keep I'm not saying it's okay I'm to I'm giving do you that. a chance right now. Here's the shovel. Dig your way out of this. I'm not saying it's okay to do that. I'm just saying that, like, to think that he wouldn't follow her at all, to think that he would just live his life without even trying to see her once. I think is like I think in this very special case where, you know, the <laughs> her dad <laughs> died in front of him, and that's why he broke up with her. That not like the reason why they broke up. The reason why he's the ex boyfriend is not because he wanted to stop dating her or she wanted to stop dating he's him. Trying, they he's still trying to love each other. They still trying to love there, and it's it fine if he needs to take that out by stalking her a little bit. It's, it's not, not okay. okay. It's it's not not okay. Fine. Let, me, let me answer your question. Just with go with the joke. Did I ask way your question? Let me answer your question. I want to give you a shot. You don't seem like you're joking. Jesus. Let me ask you a question with another question. Thank you. I'm okay. Is it wrong that sometimes I hide in your closet at night? And stare out at you as you sleep. No, that's invited. Okay. There's a difference there. <laughs> and I don't understand what we're talking about. <laughs> this was invited too. She was super all about it. She was like, oh my God, flattered yeah. by it. Well, yeah, she that's the thing. It. It's a totally like weird Which thing. Is, I I hate it when she, that's the thing about stalking. I hate it when she yeah. looked up. <laughs> you yeah, that's stupid. You too. got her on this guy. 
<laughs> you just move on. <laughs> it's weird. It's weird for me to be uncomfortable when someone else is speaking. Like, that's strange. I don't like it. Uh, yeah, they break up outside a dim sung place. Uh, Which yeah. right yeah. after graduation, right before he's going to have dinner with it, like her mom. It's the right thing to do, though, man. She's got to move no, on. No, not high at that thing. moment. No, Immediately like after that. dinner? Not at that moment also. I didn't like how this movie is similar to other weird retcons from Amazing Spider-Man 1. It's like, we already had this conversation. Yeah. Like, why are we reiterating the exact But they've iterated, or I'm sorry, they've, they they uh, insinuate that they've had this conversation a, a bunch. Yeah, I get that. And it's, but she's just, done. She's done with it. But the way that uh, Peter, he, Peter he Parker's emotes. lines there, I did not like. I, I thought that whole conversation, yeah, no. like... You're acting, if you've had this conversation a million times, this is a fucking weird way to go about the, it. The, this is my problem, is that when Peter and Gwen are together and in love, and like they're going to be in love, like we're talking about in the closet, or like the date surrounding <laughs> the whole, hey, I've been stalking <laughs> you nonstop, and her being like, uh -huh. <laughs> like, and then them, all those, them in love moments are perfect and right on, right, they're the perfect note. And them not being in breakup mode or whatever it seems so not like Peter Parker. It, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? It just doesn't Pretty. read in any way where it's like, this doesn't, I don't feel like it's how you'd handle the situation. Mm -hmm. They break up outside Dim Sung, though, and then Peter's all like, mm, and he goes and does a bunch of Spider-Man stuff. We get a montage of Spider-Man being Spider-Man up to that. No, Getting to sick. That's, that's, that's where he saves yeah. so The sick, sick thing was hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was I love really, that. really I good. love, and by the way, I love the swinging through the city. They really, really, like, you get that sense of momentum. I love every time he's, I, I just the first person lot, right? mode. Oh, that was dope. They're going to I, like, I thought there was enough of it. I thought they did a good job because yeah. I remember when we first saw the first trailer for Amazing Spider-Man 2, I was like, oh man, this is going to make everyone They're going to overdo they're, it. They're going <laughs> to overdo it. I thought they did a, a nice job. Yeah. I love how throughout the city there's dailybugle.tumblr.com yeah. things and that actually links out to a real Tumblr that existed. Oh, really? Articles written by Eddie Brock and Gene DeWolf nice. that, and like, Referencing Shocker and Carnage. I like, stuff like, I like that they, you know, J. Jonah's in this movie, although not in this movie. Yeah. You know what right, I mean? Right. Like they, he, she talk, he, or he talks to Aunt May about it, and they sell the photos, and, the, mm -hmm. and he responds to the email and shit. Like, Wrong. Yeah. yeah. That was, that was all fun. That, that was, was all fun. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The, he said, uh, yeah, it's 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 a livable wage for what? 1961 some, or whatever. Which is the year that, like, either Spider-Man came out or the Bugle got introduced. Oh, cool. There was some little cameo there. That's awesome. That's neat. Um, so yeah, Spider-Man's doing that. Peter's doing Peter. Big, big story here. Aunt May, she's going to nursing school. Mm -hmm. Heads up, everybody. Cool. She's trying to make, she's trying she's to make ends meet. It. Yeah. Why would you be embarrassed? I don't know. It was another weird dramatic beat where you were like, let me get this straight. So you're go, you're paying to go to nursing school so that you can afford to send him to college. Okay. So you're going to be a nurse now. And then like, this is a storyline we're stuck with for a while. And then we get to the, <laughs> then, we get to, then we get to the end. And it's not that I don't think that's a fascinating storyline, but we get to the end and they literally have her do nothing but go, the lights went off and the lights come back on. She goes, okay, people, the lights are back on. Let's get into this. <laughs> to, which, to which I would have replied, you're a fucking nurse's student. You don't get to tell people what to when do in the That's a doctor right there. Why are you even in the ER? <laughs> yeah, man, man. You just started classes. Are you? Do you belong here? It's on deck, man. Uh, Shit's going down. Whatever. It's weird. People are getting shocked. I mean, and Sally shit. Fields did the best. That's the thing. This movie has great casting. Sally Fields does as best she can. Chris Cooper does great. Uh, Martin Sheen did great in the last one. Like they were fucking really What's good. What's his name? Cole DeHaan or whatever. Dane, Dane DeHaan. Dane DeHaan. Yeah, great actor. And it's just like, oh, yeah. you're giving nothing. He, he pulls off the emo haircut like really well. I hated it. Oh, See, he God. shows up, dad dies, he takes over Oscorp. Mm -hmm. Dating supermodels isn't all it's cut up. Yeah, and he's a dick. Yeah, he's in a board meeting with everybody. He's just like, man, I know you don't want me. And there's the one guy who's always the one guy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then they get Jen Orso. And then, and then yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, that's it. Was she Felicity Felicia Jones? Jones. Yeah. Felicia Hardy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eventually was going to be Black Hat Apparently, in the canceled movie. A bunch of stuff, uh, other. Stuff was cut out that they had shot her, together of her. Yeah. yeah. They like hinted a bit more Who of them gave being them having this much money to shoot all these scenes. If they had included all these scenes, it would have been a seven hour Spider Man movie. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking weird. Crazy. This movie was literally a trailer for other movies that ended up not happening. That's weird. So then, yeah, Peter shows up because he saw in the news that Mr. Osborne died and Harry meets him and they have a stilted conversation. And then they, he goes to leave. Who are you going to prison? And they all start joking around and talking shit to each other and they hug and they're like, yay. And now we're going to go skip rocks around New York. They're eating ice cream yeah. and cotton candy and riding a carousel. Yeah. During that conversation, he was like, man, what's it been? Eight years? Ten. Well, didn't he just finish high school? So he was 18 then, right? Yeah. yeah so Which means ten years when they were last 10. time they hung out, he was eight. Why would that ten. person? Yeah, it's like, why would these people still be friends? I would have just, as he said, you were there when my dad and my family yeah. died. You know what I mean? I, 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 I think I like, but he was that. an eight-year-old. Yeah. So. 
All now right. the exact same All things right. happen to him. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. That makes I mean, a lot of sense. I feel like sense. the way that they were talking, it, it, it's not like they were super close. It's, they used to be close. It's like, oh shit, you're back. Like that's cool. Mm. It was like I, I got that it was like an olive branch. Like hey, I'm just gonna reach out to you because you I might s- need some help. And I, can I just think this. it's unrealistic that like. Well, Peter was also in a vulnerable spot. Like maybe he was thinking we can help each other. Maybe. Out here. maybe. Peter, you I kiss you. You kiss me. You know things. what I mean? You know what I'm really excited about? We have more hard truths coming up at some point in this <laughs> episode. Because <Yeah. laughs> it wasn't a hard truth. It was hard truth. Oh, I already <laughs> forgot the song. <laughs> when it gets there, you'll get okay, there. All right. You don't worry about it. Um, yeah. At some point, he gets turned into Electro. Right. Yeah, we already uh, kind of talked about that. He falls in Nevada eels because BJ Novak's like, I'm a bitch and it's your birthday. Come to it. Max. But he also has that really weird moment with Gwen uh, Stacy. Totally Stacey. Unbound. Yeah, I'm walking around with my invitation. You can't come though. It's kind of a private party. What the fuck is wrong with you, Max? I, I just That's what made me think like this character is so unrealistic. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. 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 It, it just, just it was so much. Again, cartoon. Didn't fit the movie. Yeah. yeah. Didn't fit the movie at all. Yeah, man. but yeah. It's, it again, it just it's a serious actor that you've seen in comedic roles and be goofy like yeah. Ray. But it's just did not <laughs> uh, Ray. What do you mean? He was serious roles. The opposite, opposite of a comedic role. Oh. It's Jimmy Fox's first really big dramatic role. You also oh. said serious. So I mean, it's fine. It works. Okay, I don't know. But yeah, it just it was like seeing Tom Hanks play you. like a silly ass weirdo you know what i mean like i don't know just like a, a person that you really respect mm-hmm. <laughs> sure. doing something silly as shit it just didn't fit i don't know it was weird doing a stalkery <sighs> shit so he's yeah. electro now yeah he's electro he oh yeah we, we well, he's like he, a corpse for a while he's a corpse for a second then he he molts and then he comes down and he, he starts sucking molt. power out of cars and shit and walking yeah. towards times square where he's, cool. if he he does the zap and then Good yeah place to go if you're electro. sure yeah totally at some point we get that we get actually another great scene with with Andrew Garfield and uh, Emma Stone, where they start setting boundaries, and it's very like I, I love ah, this scene. So good, it's so, so good. That, like, that was the scene right after this and right before the fight. Yeah, so the, so they get that, and then we get the of course the like she's like you can't do this thing anymore. Yeah, yeah it was cute. You can't like, laugh you can't, like that. Yeah, you can't that. laugh like that. I was like, I love that. That's that's I mean, very that's cute. So like awesome. I said, all they're in Mark love Webb stuff. Knows very, yeah, he knows what he's doing. And then of course she turns to talk to him, and there's the backpacks hanging. Yeah, yeah, that's that was cool. I was like, although you could just be like. 90% of our problems can be solved with communication. I have to go because that's happening. Also, like, something like, fucked okay. up's happening over there. Yeah. Don't be stupid. You job. know what I mean? Like, clearly, exactly. Well, it's, yeah, you know, great power. But yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, you know, I like that, that she's like kind of like, learn about it. And then I like uh, when they're on top of the bridge kissing or whatever, canoodling, and then the power goes out. And then I understand where this is, but like the way they did the cut, it's Jamie Foxx, you know, like zapping and sucking in all the power and stuff. And then it's them. 50 miles away and her looking she goes is that max <laughs> and it's like i understand the blackout is that max but the way you've That's just cut hilarious. this makes it her, her have like eagle vision <laughs> like, is that max eyes. over at the old power plant <laughs> how did, you, how did you see him i'm not the only one who can keep a secret <laughs> <laughs> she flies away <laughs> I, I love the scene similar to both of these where uh he runs to go save her and like she's like i'm coming with you he's like no oh, that's like, great he yeah, gets he, yeah. Goes, peter and she grabs oh, yeah, that, that was so that. good. In similar one, uh, one scene, I like here in the fight with Max or whatever uh, when the, at Times Square and everything started to pop off. And like we said, we already like the dialogue here between him and Peter. I really enjoyed when Spidey uses the hose and he's got the fireman's cap yeah, on. Yeah, I love that. Because again, so big Frank, fuck how fucking Spider-Man. awesome is that? Yeah, how awesome is it to see Spider Man just act like a normal back person? Of the holster. Yeah, 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 that was great. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, that was fun, right? Like in action and especially during like the fucking monologue during action scenes where you're just fucking talking to people is so great. Like at the end, the rhino scene where he grabs the the megaphone yeah. and it just spins it around. Yeah. And That's like, why it breaks my heart. Like so he was good. just giving the raw deal, man. Yeah. Like, he had whatever, dude. Tom Holland's we way better. We got Tom Holland we're, from we're, it. We're, we're in a better place. Better. I don't think okay. Tom Holland's you know way my bag. better. Yeah. I think you know, he's like as I think he's way better. I, I, I think he's way better. The only reason I think, Holland, I think he's way better is he's young. That's yeah. the only reason. But I, I think Tom Holland has is like more G Wiz. Not it's not just G Wiz, but like he's better at being like that nerdy kid. Yeah. Like he's I feel like he's authentically yeah. Peter, whereas this is way more He's just like Peter. a cool guy, yeah. yeah. Fight scene, Times Square. They took him out they already. Fight. It's done. They had that great <laughs> scene. <laughs> yeah, that great what, do scene. Know, what do you need to know? We already yeah. talked about it. The fight scenes are great. Now he's fucking KO'd. He shoots the web, and uh, this one, like, he can't use anymore. So he uses his oh, thumb yeah, to split yeah, yeah, the yeah, web. Yeah. It was just interesting to see Again, him play with that. to the cartooniness of it, yeah. right? Like, it's like people are like... 
as close as I am to the microphone about to touch something right. or kill him or whatever, and he's able just to get everybody. But it's like, whatever, again, cartoony, it. whatever, cool. Love that, and I also love the payoff of that later of uh, when Stacy kind of like being like, oh, like, oh, yeah, magnetizing Helping it, him yeah. figure that out. It's like, characterization. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah. Thank this you, Gwen Stacy. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not making her like fucking uh, Mary Jane in the Raimi Yeah, of movies. course. It's no, like, she's this, like, this is how you build yeah. a and even strong the, character. And the same thing, too, right? Of like her. And he's like, no, stay behind or whatever. And she doesn't. And then again, she's like, it's you're not your choice. You know what I mean? Again, a strong, independent woman who probably wouldn't like being stalked. But she did. Yeah, she did. I'm aware, but we're talking about the, the <laughs> fucking doesn't make any sense in this guy. Well, he's a superhero. What about it? What is that? <laughs> he could see anybody. I would want a personal bodyguard. Honestly, if there's anyone I'd want She's to stop She's going me. to food with her friends. Like, it's and not New York's not protecting. that dangerous. But it's this New York City, which in the past two years has seen some crazy shit. This rhino guy, this fuck, there wasn't a rhino But yet. also civilians. Just with machines. Civilians yeah. not really phased by anything. No. <laughs> literally they love watching. Fucking rhinos got, like, the Gatling guns, and the, he's tearing apart the cars, and on the other side of the cop cars are the people behind the one barricade. Like, fuck, this is cool. This is because they know Spider-Man's coming, they'll be fine. Spider's coming. They didn't know. I mean, he'd been gone for five months at that point. You know what I mean? And I feel like where we're at in the plot right now is where everything just really goes to shit. Where it's just like, and now there's ten plot threads happening. Yeah, here's where uh, Harry's ousted from Oscorp, right, by the guy. You know what I mean? To which Harry's like, this is fucking... Well, he had figured out that they were pinning all this shit on him, right? Yeah. yeah, that they were experimenting on Electro. To which he's like, fuck this. I understand that I've been thrown out of my own company and I've been voted out, but I'm still going to go right to the fucking secret headquarters and get Jamie Foxx out. Well, I he, need spider blood. That's happening as well. Sorry, you're right. Sorry, that was already happening. Of uh, Yeah, now Harry's getting super sick all of a sudden, just out of the blue. But in, What? Sorry, just really quick. He does the one intelligent thing, like, hey, you know who's been selling pictures... Yeah. Of oh yeah, Spider Man right? to people. Yeah. Peter Parker. I'm gonna grab him and be like, You're clearly his friend. Help me. He lets you take pictures. Can you get more information? And then Peter Parker is just like, I don't think he's gonna wanna give you his blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll talk to him. Yeah, yeah. Just give him a little bit of your blood, dude. No, you can't trust him. As can't you can trust see. him with what? Give the blood. You know what I mean? Can't let that blood Instead, I give my blood away. He used the poison, which didn't have the blood, yeah. and it made him turn into a freak. Yeah, exactly. Now his girlfriend's dead. It's the same reason why you're attacking. Technically supposed to re-ingest all of your bodily fluids so that no one can use them against you. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's uh, scientifically accurate. Um, <laughs> just, so yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just stick with this thread. Sp fucking Spider-Man shows back yeah. up and like comes down all weird. Like slowly. I feel like if the way I would. If, if somebody was like, here's a rope, do this scene. He comes down very gingerly <laughs> and then very gingerly Look rolls up perfectly into a, into a chair. Look up at me. Like, I thought that was cool. You guys don't like that? that the way so he came bad. down? Yeah. No. I don't know why he's always like shooting up from normal. above. It's like, were you just how on my ceiling for yeah, a while? Yeah, how the fuck did you get in here? How often did you drop down like that in Spider-Man? Not that much. Oh, I really enjoyed it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I would do it slow like that, too. Yeah, sure. I never did it. Yeah. Oh, uh, but yeah, he tells Harry he won't give him the blood. Harry gets all mad. Spider-Man leaves. And this is what pushes Harry then to be like, nah, I gotta do it. And then he gets always from the company. Jones he's like, all right, like, now oh, I'm gonna fucking do this. We have the Venom still. And he's like, well... Felicity Jones? Right? Isn't that the name of the girl? Yeah, it's Felicia. Yeah. Felicia yeah. Hardy. Felicia. Felicity Jones. Felicia Hardy. Yeah, the actress. Oh, my apologies. Yeah, no J J Jane Urso from Jane Star Wars, Jane, Wars Jane. The Force Awakens. Jane uh, and Tonic. Remember she Rogue walks one. in and he's like super drunk. He's got a bottle. And she's like, well, we didn't throw everything away. And he was like, yeah, yeah, we got the venom. We got the venom from yeah. him, right? We, we threw away the spiders for Paul. But they didn't have his blood. And well, that was the key. Yeah, they didn't know though, right? They didn't but know. But then he gets fired, idiot. right? And they're like, get yeah, out. Yeah, then he goes, he goes and gets Electro. And he's like, hey, come help me. I'll get you away from this weird German doctor doing a really bad German yeah, accent. Who has, he has the same name as Chameleon, right? Was it? I believe so. I didn't get that. or something. Dr. Dr. Kafka. That's Kafka. not Chameleon, is Are it? you sure? That's a... No. Are you positive? I'm not. I mean, no, no, no. Dr. Kafka in the comics is a woman. Scientist. Mm, but Chameleon Humanity. That feels right. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's right. He really can be anyone. That's true. Um, but yeah, this scene is the most out of place. I think it's God, this, is dumb. So, this makes no sense. Yeah, so bad. Which, Which one, one are we talking about? The one we goes to Raven. Yeah. something. Raven Croft. Okay, Croft, yeah, which yeah, is kind of yeah, like yeah. the Arkham of yeah. mm -hmm. Spider-Man. But, but yeah, does he with own this, it? Yeah, he runs it. Okay, so so the Osborne Company owns. But this. he still came in undercover because he had already been thrown out. He came in with a hat. But no, yeah, I'm but sorry, he still was like about the which part? The weird German guy. No, he runs it. Yeah, that and makes sense. His character, but his fucking his character, character is so weird. So it's weird. Like, why is this so over the top? I didn't more over the top than Electro. Whose side he was like? And then, and then it's like, <laughs> is he gonna be Doc Ock? Like, that's a weird call. He looked a lot like Doc Ock. Really weird. A lot like. Why Doc would Ock. they do that? No idea. 
But then they kill him, right? So that's okay. We're done. Oh, he gets killed. No, him. yeah, they put him in that thing. Oh, and they then put him in the thing. And he's getting shocked. That's right. He's no, fine. But what I that's don't, not how it works. You why? die when that happens. Doc Ock. There you go. Right. Exactly. Uh, uh, electrified uh, octopus came in. There's a fucked really, his face. There's a really weird moment <laughs> in the scene where you could tell they were like, just, I don't know. Like, they, we don't know how to get him from, from the security gate into the actual, like, super secure lab where all these super villains are being held. So, I don't know, maybe he just tases one of the guys and then beats the other guy's ass. So it's weird. Like these two he uses the taser mercs, to, yeah. these two guys who are in full fucking Kevlar, who are clearly like, we are assassins. I think no, they just security just, guards. He you know, tased both of them, yeah. It was, it was, didn't work tased. for me. It's a good that thing he weird. knew exactly how a taser works, Yeah, I think God, Dane DeHaan, uh, all of 110 pounds soaking wet could take these two guys. <laughs> hey, man, easily. Valerian. It's true. All right. Yeah, that's good. He had a yeah, fucking Mass Effect outfit worlds. and fought shit. Yeah. It's a good looking it. movie. That's true. It is Valerian, movie. another one of those movies that had a really great movie sandwiched in between three other shitty movies that were mm. happening. Weird. Mm. Like that movie. Poor Dane. Wanted to love it. Poor Dane. <sighs> that one scene was so I wanted long. to love it too and ugh. Yeah, we're getting Which off one real. scene do you like? There's a scene where they go, where they have to break it, like a, they're trying to get the MacGuffin mm. and he has to put on the VR so he can see the alternate dimension. Yeah, okay. I was I like, that's pretty cool. Why is this a like 45 minute long scene? <laughs> Why are we still in this scene? Um, so now he's got, yeah, he's, he, him and Electra come back to the guy's office, the dick bag, fucking took over Oscorp. And this is where he materializes in and stabs the guy through the chest. Which I liked. Does. I liked that he was like, hey man, I'm gonna help you, you're gonna help me. And he just, like a ghost comes in and just, like stops his heart. Yeah, and then starts it back. Starts so it back. Good, I was like, like that's yeah. fucking terrifying. Yeah. That's really scary. And I'd be like, okay, I'll give you whatever you want. Just please don't stop stopping my heart. Because <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> That was really horrible. And then that guy, of course, g- takes him downstairs. To Secret Projects, where well, there it is in the background, all the different things. What so Dane DeHaan's looks. plan is here is a little elusive. He's holding a gun to the guy, and he's like, come on, shoot me up with this stuff. And then drops the gun, and the guy just runs away. Instead of picking the gun up and just shooting him in the head. He knows how powerful he's about to become. You know is, that how, is that what it is? I think so, yeah. And then just jumps in but and locks everything down. that was just poison. Down. That was just spider venom. Right. Right? From these spiders that because, make the special silk. But his hair is going to go backwards. You know? Yeah. Sometimes. And yeah. his nose is going to grow a little bit. Sometimes. So, so what? It comes and goes like as we why, at the why end of the did film. Why did it react like that at all? Because it didn't have the Parker blood in it to make a That's Spider-Man. A thing over here. Parker's DNA is the second key ingredient. So if it had Parker's blood in it, would it have made... And well, Spider-Man. if Dane DeHaan had Parker's blood, yes. It wouldn't have just cured him? Because they were trying to build some cure thing, right? Yeah. No, they set up that the spider is the only living organism that can actually cure itself. You can self heal. No other lobsters. living organism. Lobsters can do that too. No yeah, other living yeah, organism can possibly lobster just heal cool. itself. Like if you get a cut or something, <laughs> if you get a cut or like a bruise, like no one else's body could do that. The spider mm, is the only the one. one. Everyone knows that's it. a good thing. You can picture into your lobster man fan art. You can please. picture the scientists being like, "Yeah, but what if someone gets bit by it?" Well, yeah, but like. Think of like Spider Man. That sounds cool, <laughs> but like yeah. Lobster Man, not cool. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah, true. That's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know what we missed? I Lobster's mean, so a little bit a while ago, Tim told me to uh, to bring up uh, wigging out, wigging out. And but you're we JD missed Fox. <laughs> we missed a scene where oh my god, Andrew Garfield took off his shirt and was he's oh, taken off the right. costume a lot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So were they born born in labs? Now it's time to rank those abs. He looks good. But I mean, he looks like Spider-Man should, right? Which is just very, very, very skinny. Very lean. He pits per, like he looks great in that suit. If that was that him suit's doing most awesome. of it, and I, I assume it, I assume he was, he was in the suit a lot. In the suit a lot, yeah. Uh, as far as ab definition, nothing much to call home about, right? Mm-hmm. It's not. It's not like it's not making me question anything about myself. But he looks great. Yeah, he, he does. just does it. He. I don't think his. I don't think his goal. Like remember, this is like. I don't think his goal was to get jacked and super cut. I think he just looked good. You know what's too cut? Mm-hmm. The character. Uh, the shirtless. The real shirtless Spider-Man in uh, in the game, what the the costume where he is only in boxers. Yeah, that Spider-Man is way too cut. Have you seen this? Uh, yeah, I played the game. He's yeah. so so defined. Did anyone ever ask the developers got, why yeah, they fine. styled Peter's hair like that in the game? Am I the only person that thinks that hairstyle is weird? Yeah, it's a little yeah. old fashioned. I feel yeah. okay. He's an old fashioned boy. Small town girl. <laughs> Living in a lonely world. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, now uh, Harry's turned into the goblin before our very eyes. Uh, Is it a wig? I don't know. Wigging that with Scarpino. <laughs> what the fuck were they thinking? I don't know. With dude. that costume, like <laughs> they nailed for the goblin. The goblin costume from the neck down. I was like, that's fucking cool looking. Yeah. It looks kind of like Halo s like Master Chief yeah. on a glider. I'm like, it's pretty cool. Then they slick back his hair. 
throw some caramel in it. And they're like, has a little swoop in the back. Let's dirty up your teeth a little bit. And I'm like, all right, this is what we're stuck with. And he's like, ah. right? And you're like, all right, I guess that's God. I think he was like that. But, but then at the end of the movie, he's just like, it comes like, oh, and you're it looking goes. Better. He's like, oh, it comes and goes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Thanks for Nick, that. So, what about Jamie Foxx's hair? Uh, Jamie Foxx's hair was. Was it a wig? Definitely a wig. <laughs> and I do, I'm torn on it because it's obviously supposed to be like mm -hmm. he's balding and losing his hair. And like, I, I guess that's the only way to do it. Whatever. It's just that I feel like that was the bridge too far. Right. Yeah. That was what took his character from being like kind of goofily <laughs> fit into this world to like you would belong in a Joel Schumacher film, mm, not in this Mark mm, Webb film. I would love to picture Dane DeHaan transforming into a goblin when it comes and goes and he's just sitting there like eating dinner. And then he's like, oh no, here it goes. And his hair is just like. <laughs> <laughs> this is, yeah. just opens up like an 80s garage door. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird, man. So bad. Yeah, sorry. Those are the only two. Those are the only that I, I just did, I didn't like his look at, at the end there. I just felt like they he went a little too over the top and, and a little bit too over the top with the direction of what he was supposed to be doing as an actor. Like he just his 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 decline into madness is just very very. Hey man, they gave and him it's all the same in in the intro where it's just like man, if you had built this up over like if they, if we got one more movie, then it might and then have and him then go he goes a little crazy. That would have been nice. Give him make him turn goblin right in the beginning of the next one. Yeah, you know, show a lot of hints of it in the end of this. To have a time jump that would have made sense. Yeah, but like oh, you talked to your dad now you're the goblin. I I didn't like it. Well, unnecessary. And he got too. pumpkin bumps. And he got the he got a lot, he had a lot going on. Yeah, <laughs> hard truth. It was a good look. No. no. The Dane DeHaan look? Yeah, it's a good cartoon goblin. You're crazy. It's better than <coughs> fucking uh, putting uh, Willem Dafoe in just a, a mask. I can't see any expressions on it. That was bad. That was the most egregious of offenses. Um, I just didn't feel like you needed the the nest like the the fangy teeth and the all this just that yeah. bum look but that it's he like had. a transformation isn't it isn't it similar to ultimate didn't this happen kind it, of i mean it all, it's, it's like very he's different a goblin yeah like an actual goblin in ultimate <laughs> but he like morphs into it right yeah, yeah but it's like but it's like you are now green forever sure right? sure, it's sure not like oh, i'm kind of human sure you know? wait he doesn't go back <sighs> right <laughs> i thought he, he, he had a creepy laugh back. too i thought it was like the gobby yeah yeah Still not earned. I hear you. Oh no! No no, no! 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 Yeah, yeah. I, I I'm not trying to I die on that hill. You know what I mean? Don't yeah. mean hard truth. You're right about that. You know what I mean? I don't That's, remember the theme song. Sorry, Greg. It doesn't matter. I think it was something like this: Hard truths with a hard body. It's Greg Miller and he has to party. He's gonna poop. We're all gonna poop. It's raining outside, so watch out. <laughs> This That's fucking a movie. <laughs> this fucking movie. Uh, Gwen decides she's going to go to Oxford, Oxford. University. It's so yeah. dumb. In Why London. Why does his teeth get like that? And uh, it's a very fast process Correct. where she tells Peter he doesn't take it super well. But then he goes into Spider Man stuff. And she runs into him, and he's like, "London, really?" And then he leaves, and it's like, "Oh," and she's like, "Good talk," and it's like, "Oh," and then he comes to talk to her because he finds out all the stuff about her parents, his dad in the in the fucking uh, Roosevelt and all this shit, and then they were whatever, and like she's at the interview, right? And at first you're like, "Fuck oh, off, he's dude." He's using Google though. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it was cool. I, I pointed Shout that out too. to that. <laughs> no more he's Bing. Grown. No more Bing. And he, and and we get sort of. Like this is the thing that, that I don't think I realized the first time I watched this movie is when he goes to the Roosevelt like train line and finds this thing that we get kind of like the hey this is the full story of the parents like they're we don't really know we don't really care about them anymore after this right like we realize like he, he is he, oh my dad's a good guy he left because he wanted to he loved me he did he love me. me he was not a spy he was a, he was trying to do something good and 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 now I have all that information and I'm a well adjusted human being again. That's yeah, it, exactly. Right. Pretty we're much. Just, yeah. We're done. He goes. And you're like, I think oh he my was god, a spy though. Stop fucking up, fucking up. Like, I life. think he was infiltrating Oscorp and no, gathering information. But he said in the video, he was like, when I learned what they were going to do, I decided that I would say no, and then he like locked it out with his DNA. So, mm -hmm. but I don't think that he was a Russian spy or like any sort not of like Russian. foreign. No, Russian. not not Russian. No, I'm saying I think he was a spy from like the government. That, that's was he? I don't yeah, know. Who built that I mean, train? The, the who built is, that train? We know stuff from comics and shit. In comics, yeah. yes. He was. So He's a government like, spy. Depending on but, I mean, storylines. Storylines that are not good, in my opinion. Sure. Anytime you introduce Peter's parents, it's not good, mm -hmm. ever. Just stay away from it. Except right? for in the Clone Saga in the Ultimates. Because then, I remember, it wasn't, his, it wasn't like, his parent? Remember? Like it was just him aged up? It's crazy shit. 
So the whole Oxford thing moves real quick where it, it, it seems like Peter's being a dick. Then he realizes the interview and he actually goes back to being nice. Peter, you're like, all right, you're back. You're back on my good list here, Peter. Mm -hmm. I'll forgive the stalking. I'll forgive the shitty conversation at the dim sung place. You're back on the good side. And then, but it's just like a week later and Gwen's like, hey, guess what? I got in and I'm leaving now. I'm in a cab right now. Like literally, just now. I'm gonna go now. This is over. And you're like, that seems that seems like a interesting progression for their relationship. Then we get to the bridge scene. I love you, written there. Hey, Spider Man. And like everybody, everybody's happy. Then is that Max over there? Because <laughs> he's out now and he's calling down. He takes out all the power. <laughs> takes That's out the Max. Whole, yeah. Takes out, <laughs> what? I mean, yeah, yeah, I can tell. That's him over there. Going back though, was it a smart move for him to put "I love you" in giant web letters on a bridge? Yes. Like telling everyone in New York City that there was someone out there that he cared so desperately about. Or that, that he, he was doing do for a friend. I love friend. New York, dude. Great point. Good point. I mean, yeah. he, it could be Spider Man just talking to all of us. It's Good a point. lot of littering. Didn't too. think about that. Yeah. yeah. Web everywhere. Yeah, you yeah, can't it's 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 dissolved, right? I hope it's like, yeah. Well, uh, Gwen the web property is very interesting. Like yeah. The, 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 yeah. I love you was, it's graffiti. Like that was straight up graffiti. Cool, Greg's all about it. But it dissolves. I think it'll be fine. I see the hand pop up above the. Yeah, I don't think you get in trouble. It's is it graffiti if it dissolves? Is it biodegradable? Yeah. Hold on. Can you eat it? <laughs> we need science, a rule of rules science, of graffiti. Science with Kev. And Cool Greg. Oh. No, that's a different <laughs> show. We'll get to in a second. I mean, is it is it graffiti if it like doesn't stay there forever? Like, science, science with Kev cannot answer this question, so we need the rules of graffiti with Cool Greg. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the rules of cool Greg. Cool Greg. <laughs> we're, we're launching the podcast universe, everybody. <laughs> There's no way this will kill an entire franchise. Is your mic on? Yeah. <laughs> All right. If if you write something somewhere and it goes away. But you get caught for doing it. Is it graffiti? <laughs> like if you write something with an erase, one of those like dry erase no, marker, that's chalk, different. Right? dry yeah. erase marker, and they, you could just be like, "Look, wipe." Is that the kind of shit you're gonna get in trouble? If for? I take, I, I say it's still graffiti. If I yeah, spin cotton candy letters <laughs> on, on a wall <laughs> and it's about to rain, who gives a shit? Yeah, yeah, not, yeah you know what I mean. It's, it wasn't about to rain. Can I have a problem with ants? It was no, in the middle I, of the summer. I know, but in New you, York City, you right? know that the web dissolves after a few hours. No, I don't. I don't know that they, we know that in this universe. It's we know that only in this in home it's We do know. We do know that you can hack at it with a hear. small pencil. What I'd like to do then is give a shout out to my favorite graffiti artist, Charlotte. <laughs> From Charlotte's Web. Charlotte's Web, man. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Fucking right. And all sorts of scrumptious shit. <laughs> yeah. That, that was scrumptious <laughs> shit she wrote. <laughs> <laughs> so I would use I would use the word scrumptious also. That's actually the one that. word they didn't use. Yeah, remember, because yeah. Templeton's like, it'll make it make it back. <laughs> Templeton. <laughs> we didn't do an interview just for shits and giggles. Just the one interview, Charlotte's oh, web anime. Like hey, it. wow, look at him. <laughs> so Why do you remember things so well from this? <laughs> he's so he's wow. like an idiot savant, you know. He's what just you see? like, would you be able to pull Templeton out of you No! Three, five, swine, I wish you were smart. I read. What's wrong with let you? Let me be honest. I what read Charlotte's Web me? and I watched the movie and I can't remember any of the characters. That's either. one terrific, humble, radiant pig of a jig of a pig. That's I knew it was the pig. Templeton's the pig, right? No, Templeton. No! Which one's Templeton? Wilbur's the pig. Wilbur's the pig. Templeton's the rat, <laughs> man. <fucking> idiot. <laughs> you fucking You're right. Moron. You're right. <laughs> My bad, guys. I've let you Does all down. Templeton sound like a pig name, you fucking swine. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. You know, and now you're just being mean. Ooh. Now you're just cutting deep. I I uh, hadn't heard the name Templeton <laughs> in like two decades. <laughs> I don't know how you remember any of that. So we're in the final fight scene. Yeah, we're at the power plant. <laughs> and uh, oh, so we had the whole magnetism thing, because Peter did. A, we had a whole uh, science with Peter, mm -hmm. where he was in the garage. Burning shit down oh, using that's batteries. What the music was. Yeah. Oh, uh, it was thing. that. But he was also building that weird web thing that, if you look at, makes no fucking sense at all. Because like, a lot of Gwen Stacy. Yeah. Going there's on. a lot of Gwen Stacy, and Why? it was supposed to be at his, about his parents. Yeah. I think he has a real like manic you know, that's moment where there. It gets, that's where it gets very psychotic with the stalker. Yeah. You're right. You're right, Greg. You're Thank right. you. Thanks for coming around. No, 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 no. The Gwen Stacy. Thing, I think that he built that around the Gwen Stacy stuff because that was his movie. girlfriend. Got it. He had the shrine, which is totally not normal. a shrine, not a shrine, just a couple pictures <laughs> of his girlfriend. Maybe like a place where you go to torture small animals mm. or you know, bleed some small animals out. Shrine, like that, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. just exactly. like that, just exactly. like that. That's what he was doing. Uh, so yeah, it's final fight now. 
Uh, we're going to overload him like a battery. Uh, they start fighting. He's magnetized his web shooters because that's cool. We had a cool fight scene. As we've already, we've already covered this cool fight scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peter gets dominated, but then Gwen comes in and hits him with a car. Yeah, exactly. That was pretty exactly. cool. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And then they have that great. He's like, you like, you get a real sense of urgency for the first matter. And was like, I'm not kidding with you. You got to get out of here. This guy's really fucking dangerous. She's like, it's my decision. And then she goes, this is also, my decision. Also, she's like, I'm fucking 18 and I'm the only person who understands the power grid of New York and yeah. I can do she this. She helped build it. She memorized it. That's true. She did. I mean, she had that part. She's and meanwhile, really by the way, the there's same. some airplanes in the air. Dude, and so that was another. That thing. was another. Christ. Oh my god. Well, that was, I think, that. the worst. Just to show you the stakes. Example of it. This. A note from Kevin was like, "Hey, cut this entirely. Yeah, that Unless you can stupid. find a way to have Spider-Man directly involved with it not happening, cut it." Well, why didn't those? Why didn't they get the notes? <laughs> like, I think he gave them the notes. No, like, think, Amy yeah. Pascal was like, "No, we're good." She's like, "No." Sony's like, "Nice try." No. Yeah. You know what I mean? We yeah. like cramming as much in this as possible. More is better. You're trying to stop our universe. We know what you're up to. <laughs> Double agent, just like uh, Peter's parents. Yes. That part was weird, and obviously I've lamented enough about Aunt May in the hospital, which I assume there was more to that, and they just cut around it, because they were like, we got nothing for her to do. Like, we can't see her save someone's life. This is too many people saving people's lives. Peter's the hero. But I do want to go back to that one a second, though, where Gwen, in a very human and real character stand, uh, moment, goes... It's my decision whether or not I want to be here. Like, you don't get to be the only person like who gets to solve these problems. Like, you need help. I get to be here, and it's my decision. You don't get to make that choice for me. And I really like that because it makes sense. It's like, oh, yeah, well, you can't really just tell everyone to fuck off, like, get away from you. If they want to help, you got to let them help. Yeah, I mean, that's also just sort They're of real like people. a... Uh, sort of complimenting... Or not complimenting, but that's going towards the whole, like, your dad didn't want us to date sort of vibe. So and I, and I, I had that. forgotten about it until, once again, they <laughs> show me... Captain Stacy there. Off Dennis pissed Larry. off Dennis Larry. Right. Yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. And then I didn't remember Electra all. swings on through that. They fight some more. She's wearing the outfit that she dies in in the comics. Sad. Yeah. And then, uh, of course, he overpowers him by making a spider web of electricity. Yeah. Do it, and Gwen! Thus, and then they magnetized, of course, his web slingers, which is great. And that really helped. I, I don't know how she heard him over exactly. the yeah, exactly. electricity. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. They zap him. He overloads. He drops. We did it. Explodes it's over. Battery. Congratulations. Roll eh, credits. Eh, no. Eh, there it is. Eh, there it is. Eh. Gobby's here. And he comes in. And to his credit, sees Gwen, sees, sees Spider-Man. Spider-Man. He's like, fucking it Peter. He's it's you. He's a smart you. cookie, that one. Yeah. Why didn't you just give me your fucking blood? He should have just given him the blood. Maybe you know what doing I mean? the right Maybe. thing to do, but that's the thing is like a friend from a decade ago right now shows up and is like, hey, or not even, I, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I guess give me this guy's blood. Greg, like, you're yeah. such a fucking nut bar. You'd be like, cool, man. How much blood do you want? You just <laughs> give people right blood now. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like he comes in I here. I bite my, my <laughs> cheek and spit it all over, <laughs> spit into his face. <laughs> he's no. in the fight club thing where he's on the ground. He's just bleeding all over <laughs> his fucking face. He he comes in and he's like, hey, turns out my dad had some disease. I'm gonna have it. Look. My nails are getting scary. I'm shaking hella hard. And uh, t- your dad and uh, that guy that turned into a lizard last year uh, were working on a cure. Uh, can, we, can we get a little bit of uh, your blood? And it's like, I was, all right, well, I was I'm with you up until together. your dad and the lizard thing. That's what I'm like, ooh. Yeah, like, I don't know, man. They didn't dad. go well for them. I don't need another creature. That's because like he didn't good. have your blood. Good point. Good it's point, true. I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. But again, he just dropped back on the scene. Hard to just immediately trust him with everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Remember, there was a seminal Smallville episode where a similar thing happened where Clark was sick right. and Jonathan Kent had to give the blood to Lex Luthor's girlfriend, the doctor in town. And, he, and when she tried to take it, he's like, you can't, you have a, you fucking took it, the Hippocratic Oath or whatever shit. And she's like, what? And then she ran, she's like, wow. And she never told anybody. She was a good lady. Rest in peace. She dies. Uh, not like, not Lex life. Luthor kill her? I think so. I'm rusty, but I think he had some... His own girlfriend? I think, well, he Han. wasn't super bad, but it's like his actions led to it. Kind uh, of. Went from banging supermodels to this. So fast. You mean the, Harry Osborn? Harry Osborn. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, he was also banging that uh, Felicity Jones character. Was he? That's was pretty he? clear. There's okay. a deleted scene that also... They, they, there's a comment him. involved where they're like, oh... <laughs> You and your boyfriend. Bash, bash, bash. He was yeah, like, there you go. He was like yeah. it's dope yeah. when we made it. I was, I was hoping they were going to drive home. Just... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Them starting to make it, out, make it out of the bed or whatever, and then he just, <laughs> him just pushing cats off the bed. <laughs> I hate all these black well, cats on your bed. Oh, I see, I see. I see, I see. <laughs> it's landing on like this leather outfit with this really low cut thing and like a white wig. He's like, why? Well, I fucking hate all these black cats and your fucking leather thing and this thing. It's coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, it's just a shadow. I thought your shirt was <laughs> fucked up, but it's just a shadow. Uh, yeah, it's old. Yeah. It is old. Uh, so yeah, he grabs Gwen Stacy and flies her up into the air, and Peter's trying to web her and can't, and he keeps saying, let her go, let her go, and he's finally like, all right, and he just drops her, and then they fall into the clock thing, and like they spin, they hit, and then... They this scene was intense. For yeah. all the shit that I hate about the Goblin, mm-hmm. this scene, I thought, was great. fucking perfect. Yeah, it was I, brutal. It was tense. The entire time, I was like, oh my god. Is it gonna happen? Is it not gonna happen? Watching them fight, the way the quips that they had, the way that they used the, the gears of the clock mm-hmm. tower stuff. Again, everything I love about Spider Man. Really cool choreography, really good writing of back and forths, and uh, something that like matters, stakes. And they, I thought, did yep. a really good job. And also, like, the, I mean, obviously, the, the clock uh, theme or the clock imagery is like a little on the nose, but I thought it worked too, especially as we're seeing the hand like almost go and then. When everything really, when it all is out of control for him and times up, it just starts spinning. Spinning, and when it ends, when she hits yeah, the thing, she hits the thing. I'm like, uh, that was really well done. It's at one twenty one, which is the night when Stacy died. Issue, comic. interesting, yeah. Comic issue. Um, yeah, yeah that, fo- that fall was intense, man. That's slow. Mo- the thud, it's like, oh god, it yeah, breaks yeah. your heart. Yeah, yeah. And the, it's uh, so the web scene. turning into a hand. Was yeah, try reaching, weird. Like reaching that. out. The one thing that was weird choice. Yeah, weird choice. Yeah, that was a little weird. He was willing it to happen. But that was sad because he like he, and he just jumps down so effortlessly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. it's nothing to him, but it just like yeah. snapped her back. It's <clears> fucking that sad. death got me, man. Yeah, like, yeah. Me too, I was man. like, this, they the, really. Did I, a good I job do with really this. bad with scenes like that anyway, so they're always gonna get me. But like, yeah, I thought he, I thought he had a really good uh, crying performance there. Yeah. Did you get choked up at the end of Charlotte's Web? <laughs> I don't know. Remember Wilbur ate the rat. I was four. Wilbur <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, ate the rat. She dies. Like, remember? Eat, she's right? like, "Oh right, uh, I'm gonna eat you." It took rat. a lot. Of, it took. <laughs> <laughs> it. I'm gonna eat you, you fucking rat. <laughs> Basically, anything. Uh, so yeah, she's dead. We go. We get the traditional Spider-Man movie funeral scene, uh, and then we get Peter standing at the grave through all the seasons. I love that. I thought that was well done. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Spider-Man no more. Spider-Man no more. It's essentially the plot of Spider-Man too. Just in a montage. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he won't do it anymore. It's been five months. He tries to leave, and May's like, "Why? Where are you going, Peter?" And he's like, "I don't know." And then I don't know. I put your Uncle Ben shit in a box, and he would just like put your shit in a box too. And so he goes up there and he puts all the shit in the box except for a photo of them, and shoves it in his closet. And then the closet's this costume. And then yeah, Rhino's out there now. He's doing his thing. You know what I mean? But yeah, we jumped around where the, like fucking Mister yeah, plays the speech again. Hat something. guy, hat guy had gone down to the fucking secret lab and seen. We saw the Doc Ock arms, the yeah. vulture wings. Hat guy had a conversation with uh, Harry. Harry in prison, right? He went to yeah. visit him. And then he asked, yeah, like, how yeah, close? Yeah, yeah. How I'm gonna, close? Like, I'm thinking a like, small I'm team. Keep it small. small, maybe just six or something. You look better. Like it comes in a goes. And then in the credits, we see all of the. We see six different things, like during the actual credit scene itself, where. Like the CG shit going around. It's uh, Green Goblin's glider, Doc Ock's tentacles, Rhino's horn, Vulture's wings, an emblem that really looks like Kraven the Hunter. Yeah. Um, and a mask that could either be Chameleon or Mysterio. Because mm-hmm. like it looks like Chameleon's mask, kind of. Those are very different masks. But right? there's a lot of smoke that looks like Mysterio. Uh, so maybe they just didn't decide. He watched Gwen's speech, yeah, put it beside <laughs> himself. And then Rhino's fucking shit up like we've already talked about. The kid gets away from his mom and runs out there to Spider-Man outfit. For as dumb as this scene is in terms of people watching and all this shit, I fucking love, I love it. Me too. Fucking Me I too. love it. It's so too. Spider-Man. And it's like, you know, we got a lot of shit for Spider-Man 1, 2, and 3 of just like, hey, you need to appreciate the corniness and appreciate the tone and all this stuff. And this movie, you do, except for three, which totally all over the fucking place. It doesn't make sense. It's way too serious. It's way too stupid. But this is what people are talking about. I'm like, no, but they're trying to capture like the magic of the 1960s Spider-Man stuff. I'm like, I think this is the magic of Spider-Man is this scene. They have a nice touch where he goes when he when the, you see the kid and he's squaring off against Rhino, you hear Peter Parker, you hear Spider-Man refer to him as Spider-Man. Yeah, so good. He goes, hey, hey Spider-Man, Spider-Man, you doing okay? And the kid turns around and you see him and he's like, that's good. That's good. Good moment. Yeah. He got me yeah. on that and one. And then one New Yorker's like, I'm Spider-Man. And I was like, I'm Spider-Man. You oh, mess with one Spider-Man. of us. You mess with all of us. <laughs> yes. But yeah, the fucking yeah. rhino, as dumb as his stupid face looks. So that terrible. Fucking so bad. It's just so like, dumb. dude, I loved that take on the rhino. I'm like, yeah, let's just give him a you? giant mech suit. But be, I only like it because of how they it. set him up in the beginning of the movie. Of, he is just this fucking like random like. Yeah. Crazy guy with guns. You I've never been okay with that, but Paul Giamatti was such an interesting choice. Like you have this great actor, I think a and bad you're just choice. gonna make him this fucking cardboard cutout villain. He was really psycho. excited to do the role that way. In an interview, he was talking about it. He and was I like, "Yeah, we want to do something different." And I love this character. Like, I love the way he made that character. It was just, it was just a to, weird. He choice. was proud of that. Is what I I'm saying. I would love to have just seen him get <laughs> shot in the fucking face. When right? He right? Yeah. And the cops unload before a bit before he closes it. And like yeah. one cop, just, ping, 
Yeah, yeah just yeah, like one even shot at an electro, just you know? Just one cop behind like a fucking door of a car and just like, pat, and just over. Done. Do you, do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of uh, Mark Ruffalo in the whole yeah, Buster. Buster. Where you're like, oh, God, no, redo that. No, this looks better none than of that, the lighting, None of the lighting yeah. changes at all. This looks significantly this looks better than way that. way better than that, though. Oh, no, I don't understand that scene made in the movie. I don't. That's weird. You don't understand what? How the Hulkbuster scene made oh, it in the movie. Gotcha. I just the effects are so good every other place. I love this movie ending this way though. I thought it was like a very strong like it I remember leaving the theater being like, for as many issues as this movie had, I had a fucking fun time. Can't wait and for like, three. Yeah. Well, I could wait for three. <laughs> I was like, yeah, right. when we, when it came out, we were like, that's not as bad as everyone's saying. Total well when it like, came out, yeah. we were the first we saw it opening night. So we were like, that was pretty good. And yeah. everyone started hating it. I was like, I don't agree with you guys at all. Mm. What year did this come out? 2014. 2014, okay, yeah. So Which now, is not that long. It's not that what long, I need yeah. from you is, I don't... Was just reception of this so bad? That's why they were like, fuck it, pull the plug and everything? It was a bunch of licensing stuff, but then it was the MCU deals going through. where, And it was the, the email leaks and all this stuff. So it got fucked super hard. It was. I think the email leaks were the biggest thing. Yeah. They, like, How the emails? Things. Fuck it. Um, a lot of people said things that they shouldn't like. No, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a, lot people people got, a lot of people got shit. fired. A lot of okay. people got moved around. Yeah. Okay. A lot of, a lot of, money. A lot of like, directors Pascal, got offended. Who I think was the head of Sony at yeah. the time got ousted and then she was the one who talked shit about Seth Rogen or whatever. She talked shit a about lot of someone, people. But then they actually ended up giving her a pretty good deal because I think she ended up producing Homecoming. Like I think they put her on the spot oh, on that movie. Okay. So they gave I can't wait for Far From Home. Oh yeah, me too. Uh, let's, let's fucking go. We're gonna yeah, have to just wipe wait. all this shit out. Let's, let's <laughs> keep going forward. Um, couple more random Easter eggs and stuff we got for you. Uh, um, Venom and Morbius are talked about in the data files at some point. Yeah, more. there was a bunch of different people in there. Yeah. Um. Oh, Spider-Man's ringtone is the Spider-Man theme song, which I like the first do, 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 do. time, not the other yeah, 18 times little, we heard it. Too much. Once is enough. Too much, guys. Um, and then the final thing is the mid-credit teaser scene, which you guys probably didn't see watching it here, but in theaters they did play it. Do you remember what it was, Kevin? It was the trailer for something, right? It was a trail, not a trailer. It was just a random clip from X-Men: Days of Future Past. That's right. Which makes no fucking what? sense. The yeah. scene where Mystique infiltrates the army base, okay, and like gets all the toad, the and, toad and all them from first oh, class, okay, to, to to join or whatever. Why they do it that? was just a clip that started off like it looked like a post credit. It had to legally of Jennifer Lawrence walking in, Mystique being there, and all that stuff. And then it just ended with X Men: Days of Future Past, and everyone's like, "What the fuck was that for?" That's the weird. reason was a mid credit teaser scene from X-Men Days of Future Past was added to the film after its London premiere. The reason Variety has learned is that Spider-Man director Mark Webb had an existing contract with Fox to helm another film following 2009's 500 Days of Summer. After The Amazing Spider-Man in 2012, Webb, Webb's negotiate, negotiations briefly stalled with Sony as he was caught in a tug of war with Fox. Eventually, Fox agreed to allow Webb to direct Sony's Spider-Man sequel, but only if Sony would promote its X-Men film for free. That's weird. What a weird That's really fucking weird. thing. Weird, That's a dumb weird deal. Thing, yeah. And this was, again, after Winter Soldier. That's so weird. <laughs> it's like so fucking bizarre. Um, and then, yeah, that's it. It's all the good stuff. Dun 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 dun. Ragu. Dun 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 dun. Wiggy to wiggy to bag What's up, everybody? Welcome to Rad Guys Talk Bad Guys. That's right. Twitter.com slash ragu bagu vids. The podcast within a podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside. The big guy, Kevin Koala. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know where to go with that one. Not your best. <laughs> Not your best. The Greg. guru, Kevin Koala. There it is. And the Hispanic heart throb, Andy Cortez. Uh, where do you want to put these idiots? Right these, now, these who, idiots. Who we, are rank, they? we rank the rad guys, the bad guys, or we rank the bad guys. We are rad guys. We rank the bad guys uh, in the Spider Man universe. So far, what we have at number one is Dr. Octopus. Number two, Lizzie. Number three, Norman Gosborn. Number five, Venom slash New Goblin slash Sandman. Uh, we are currently trying to rank Goblin, Electro, uh, Electro Board of Directors guy, <laughs> BJ Novak. <laughs> No, you hat guy. The entire government Norman that was Osborne. against the parents. I yeah, I think, I think Aunt May. <laughs> I think we're, we're ranking uh, Green Goblin. We're ranking Electro. Um, it's low, right? I mean, I f I think they're. I say they're number four. I think they're I below go, Norman Gosborn, right. above Venom, New Goblin, and Sammy. I agree yeah. with that. All right, there you that. go. The motion passes. Fuck it in a bucket. Who cares? Uh, Electro and Gobby. 
for only Join. sixty nine dollars on patreon.com slash kinda funny. You can get your tweets put on twitter.com slash ragu bagu vids. A lot of people have done it. It's cool. We've had many. A lot of people got married after they did it, just putting that out there. Whoa. Really? So if you're single and you want to be married, <laughs> what here's this the thing. might help. You know, what better way to propose than twitter.com slash ragu bagu vids? I can think of a couple. So many. Shut up. So <laughs> it's time to rank the Spider Man movies. Cool Greg, please bring up the rankings. Currently, number one, The Amazing Spider-Man. Number two, Spider-Man 2. Number three, Spider-Man. And number six, <laughs> Spider-Man 3, which will never not be I funny love that. to me. I love that so much. I mean, I'm just going to start it off. I think it's number one. I don't think this is a great movie. I don't even think it's a good movie, but I think it has the best Spider-Man elements. It has a lot of really shitty things, but especially with the rankings we have now, it's better than Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah. That's, that's, the, that's the boondoggle we have, is that you guys screwed the pooch last week. I Let Spider-Man 2 go to number two. Spider-Man 2 should clearly be number one. Amazing Spider-Man 2 should be number two. No, no, no. no. Spider-Man should Chad probably Carter. be after that. Huh? Which one had the... And they say... That, that was Spider-Man. Oh, man, we fucked up. You did, I know. So up. yeah, the hard one. truth, the final hard truth of the day is that, sadly, <laughs> in this fucking show, <laughs> number one is The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Mm. I wow. I just want to. I, so. I, I just want to say that, like, while I agree with you, I don't want to. Uh, and the 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 Gwen Stacy storyline and what ends up happening with that character is so good. It's so amazing, and it even though it's hard, like yeah, like it, this movie, like that build to lead to that. Fucking beautiful. The biggest problem with this movie, right? I if you're gonna ask me what's going on, what's wrong with this movie? There's too much happening, mm -hmm. and I don't like Peter's portrayal when he's not in the in love part of it. That those are my issues with it. I yeah, I think Electro is too ham fisted. I think Gobby's too uh, too. It's again like I was saying earlier, Hard Truth number two or whatever. It's just a cartoon. It's a it's a it's a really big budget cartoon that goes on for too long, which I I'm not hating on. It's just like could have been more. Could have been. I have it doesn't been stand alone. Like that's the biggest problem. Is it's like it feels like the middle of a season, of a show. Sure. And just like a, it feels like three episodes of a Spider-Man cartoon mm -hmm. that we had plot threads that were before, and we have plot threads after, but we don't find out what those are because it's not actually what happened in Amazing Spider-Man One. I have it at number three, underneath Spider-Man Two. I just think I am so much more heartbroken by the wasted potential of this movie, and I think it's more. I think maybe I enjoyed watching this movie more than Spider-Man 2, but I I just felt like Spider-Man 2 was more coherent, mm -hmm. and mm. this one just was a lot of just wasted potential, yeah. and, and oh, if they had only done this, that, that the story of this movie is like, if they had only blah, 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 well, and I it mean, just fucking it hurts my body. Here's the unheard of thing in Spidey Review, Andy. Do you want to second my motion? No. To call for a refund? Because <laughs> no. again, Spider-Man 2 should be number one. No. I'm just letting you all know it's that. It's not that great. No. I agree. But a ranking in the land movies of is difficult, you know? <laughs> the turd that can talk best <laughs> is okay, king. I mean, that's it. Guys, let's just that. fucking, let's say it. Old it needs proverb. to be discussed. Yeah. Spider-Man Homecoming. Miles above oh my Venom. It's we, not even close. But I can't wait till Venom. Will it be our number one? We'll have to, we'll <laughs> no, have to fucking won't. see. Oh, the question is where will Venom sit? And like, I, I think it's probably going to sit pretty highly on the list just because it's a more yeah. contemporary film. Now, how but are we doing knows? Venom again? We're doing the review. Are we? Do, but you're not here. So yeah, what's going to happen is uh, next week will be the Venom review, and it'll be all of these guys. But I'm not here, so we're not going to do the actual ranking until. The following episode, which is Spider-Man. It's either going to be the following or two weeks later, which will be the, the final Spider-Man review rankings. And that's when we will do start our it personal off rankings. With the full thing and then, gotcha, gotcha, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Personal and all that stuff. Okay. Um, but for now, let's do the vote. The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Who thinks it's better than Spider-Man 3? Everyone raised their hands. And it is two hands. Mm. Who thinks it's better than Spider-Man? Everyone raised their hands. No, I wavered, but yeah. I haven't thought it through. Who thinks it's better than Spider-Man 2? Me, Kevin, and Nick raise our hands. Who thinks it's better than The Amazing Spider-Man? 
Me, Kevin, I, and Nick raise our hands. I, technically, my, I've already, I, you know, you guys, again. You can't, you I can't know the rules of the race. I know what the rules are. Anywhere we are, yeah, we could have done a veto vote. No, fuck, because you know why? Thor is better than Incredible Hulk. Fuck you all fucking shows. don't know what fuck you're this talking shit. about. This show sucks. The new ranking of the Spider-Man movies is as <laughs> follows. Violence. Number one, The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Number two, The Amazing Spider-Man. Number three, Spider-Man 2. Number four, Spider-Man. And number six, Spider-Man 3. Never will get old. <laughs> So good. It earned it, you know? It earned that last oh, spot. Oh, man. Ladies and gentlemen, Swing. this has Fine. been oh, <laughs> kind of funny Spider Man interview. Andy, until next time. Swing by next week. Huh? See you late on Thursday. <laughs> See you late for uh, Thursday night.